I mean, 2017 had this series of unprecedented sized natural disasters within a six month period. So I think the frequency and intensity and size of these natural events has unquestionably been growing. The hallmark of disasters is you have to do what you do, you just have to do more of it faster. No one plans for something that's never happened before. You have to be guided by people who are gonna spend the rest of their lives in these communities. They have the most at stake, they have the most insight, they'll use the resources the best, better than anyone from outside. And that is always true. You know, if we say it's always local, this was far more local than we would have expected. In my tenure, both as a fire chief and as a firefighter, I've never experienced anything like this uh, debris flow. You know, it's just my community. Yeah, it's people we knew, and names that we knew. Probably the single most impactful call of my life. I think just the magnitude of what we were dealing with, and the other thing is in my position, I get to know a lot of the homeowners personally. I go out and do defensible space surveys, so a lot of the people that I was looking face to face and loading on helicopters and the houses that were destroyed were people that I had met before and pet their dog and met their children. So there was definitely a, a, a personal connection there. We were in uncharted territory for us. The type of response, the type of disaster that we were dealing with is something that I think Direct Relief sees in other parts of this country and in other parts of the world. I think the benefit of being a privately funded organization is really the ability to move fast. So that certainly happened in Santa Barbara where we could call the people who were involved in the rescue efforts, uh, which is usually not something Direct Relief is able to contribute to. We, f we show up after, so this was a, a really a privilege for us to, to be able to help people with resources needed for the search and rescue. We had a bunch of supplies that we needed and things that we didn't have that were really useful for this type of event. And Direct Relief gave us those supplies like, pretty much immediately. It's pretty incredible how quickly the community and other cooperators jumped in to help support the event. I think we were so fortunate that in Santa Barbara County, a lot of the approach that's used throughout the country and the world was started here. The search and rescue people, the wildfire, uh, folks are the best in the world. They're like the Navy SEALs, SEAL Team 6 of firefighters. They're here in, in the home community. We knew the resources, any resources we put with these teams and these people that we knew would be used as well as they could be used and it would make a huge difference. For the 70 years or so that Direct Relief has been around Santa Barbara County, I think this is the, the time that will be most critical to a disaster in their own backyard. And the fact that some of the key direct relief people are survivors of this makes it even more personal for the organization. And, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna need help recovering from this. And I think direct relief is gonna be a critical partner moving forward. Direct relief is committed, obviously, in the, in the town that's carried us for 70 years to doing everything we can to help people through this difficult period. And it's always longer and harder and more expensive than anyone thinks. But we live here too, and many of us are personally affected. But as an organization, from the board and the staff and all the volunteers and supporters locally, we'll do everything we can to support the communities and the people who've been affected.